Don't start Zetbound without knowing the facts. Hi friends, I'm Elizabeth Passive Shopping. I have gratefully lost over 90 pounds in the last year and a half of being on Manjaro and Zetbound. They're the same thing. It's just different FDA approvals uh, from the manufacturer Eli Lilly. Been on GLP ones the last 18 plus months. Lot losing 90 pounds. And I had a viewer email me asking about starting Zetbound with a ton of questions. And so unfortunately, I don't have time to answer one-on-one -on -one questions. And I, I know a lot of you probably have very similar questions before starting Manjaro or Zetbound. Zetbound is for chronic obesity management FDA approval. Manjaro is FDA approval for type 2 diabetes. So two different metrics on there. But I'm going to dive into these questions because they were really good. And I'm sure some of you, if you're looking to start GLP-1 medications, even the comparison of Zetbound versus Wegovy, which is made by a different Wegovy, is for chronic obesity management. It's a semi-glutide, slightly less data than terzepatide, which is Zetbound. Depending on where you are with your chronic obesity management, obviously talk with it with your healthcare provider. I'm not a healthcare provider, but this is my experience, strength, and hope of having been one of the guinea pigs <laughs> when starting on this medication. First question was, can you share the prices of each doses of Zetbound? So Zetbound, if you're looking at this, I would encourage you to go to Zetbound's website, Eli Lilly's website. I do have also on my website, countessofshopping.com, a whole price comparison where I took, I forget which month it was, but I went through um, with GoodRx different prices for like CVS, Walgreens, Costco, like your standard pharmacies without insurance. So this is going to vary for you in terms of your pricing for Zetbound. If you're just looking to start like, oh my gosh, before I start taking this medication, doing your due diligence, which pat yourself on the back. A lot of people don't do that. Pat yourself on the back um, is the pricing of it, right? Because we do know as facts when people start GLP-1 medication, that if they stop within a year, 70% gain back. That's from a study that was done recently. And so my encouragement for you is this is really great to be asking these questions about price point. For us and our family, and I can speak of it with our experience, strength, and hope, before starting Zetbound, my husband and I, our good financial stewards with our finances, created a budget around adding in that extra price point, which with the savings card is around 500-ish dollars. I haven't really found that the doses vary too, too much. It, it was for me has been anywhere as I titrated it up. Now I'm on the highest possible dose of Zetbound of Zetbound 15 milligrams. I was at one point on the highest dose of Manjaro 15 milligrams before switching over. Um, and then have been on a compound too, which we're going to talk about in terms of pricing. So pricing with the savings card, you go to Eli Lilly's website to get the savings card. It's about $1,100 per month. That's four pens um, included in that one each week. So 28 days worth. Um, and it's around $1,100-ish. With the savings card, it's around $500-ish. Some people can get a little bit less, some people can get a little bit more, depending on your state. Adding in things too with that. My dose, because your question was, at, this is a, it was a really good question, was how does it vary by each dose? It's nominal. It, you would think, oh, with the 2.5 versus the 15 milligrams, that there'd be a substantial difference. It really hasn't been for me. Um, it really hasn't been for me. Next question. Um, and I meant how much does the price for 2.5 doses per month versus five doses, meaning so she's asking for doses. I think what she means to clarify on that is the milligrams. I have my, here, let me make that button. Nope, that's the wrong one. So we have milligrams. Those are the doses. It, it's 2.5 milligrams is the starting dose, and it goes up to 15 milligrams for doses. So just to clarify, as you titrate up, the price is similar. For me, it maybe have been like $100 variation, maybe 75 if I'm remembering correctly, around 75-ish. Some months it was less when I titrated it up, and I'm like, how could this possibly be less? I don't quite frankly know why that was, because um, I've gone pretty much to the same local pharmacy um, to have mine. So just FYI on that. Um, so I found your videos. Okay, but can you give some information about your experiences on Zetbound? Um, how many times do you eat and drink water? Great question. Okay, so when I first started my dose, and what I would encourage is, I have over 300 videos here. Great resource if you're walking or doing chores. They're long. <laughs> They're great if you want to get sucked in and binge watch them. Um, that's one on countessofshopping.com, my website. I also have on there short blog snippets if you're like, just tell me what the answer is. <laughs> so in terms of on the, the what do I eat and drink, I've done several what I eat in a day videos. And for me, it depends on is it shot day? And for a shot day, I feel that full appetite suppression 
24 to 48 hours afterwards. So if I take my shot on Monday, I'm really full on Tuesday and going into Wednesday, like so full. So that varies at 24 to 48 hour window after taking my shot versus the last day, day five, six, and seven. Those are what's called half-life doses. And so for me, I'm much hungrier on those days. On day five, six, and seven, I plan to eat more protein and more food in general, fruits and vegetables. I've got that more mapped out than what I do on that, like going into, if it was Monday, going into Tuesday and Wednesday. And so for me, on those days of not having appetite suppression, I am intentional to have more protein, right? Because um, protein helps with muscle mass loss. That's one of the big things with, with the Zepbound weight loss and we go be weight loss, but PS with any weight loss, it's not just for GLP-1 medication weight loss. And so one of the things I want to encourage you is, uh, I worked with a dietitian. I have interviewed her here on kind of shopping. So you can get that free resource in my playlist. Um, she said hundred to 120 grams of protein per day on that Tuesday and Wednesday, for example, 24 to 48 hours afterwards. I'm not forcing myself to eat those. Some people will, will say to do that. For me, I don't. <laughs> I choose instead to ride the wave of that appetite suppression. And quite frankly, it varies. When I'm titrating up on a dose, that first week or two of that new dose titration, I am having more side effects. I feel differently. I am much fuller when I, that, the beautiful gift of titrating up. I'm at the highest dose. I don't have that luxury anymore. So it just is what it is. And I've had to work on changing my permanent lifestyle habits, which we'll talk about later of being super intentional of this is the gift and using it to learn new health lifestyle changes. But so for me, definitely on that, going back to your question of what do you eat? High protein and lots of fruits and vegetables, right? Because fiber is important. Fiber, fiber, fiber. If you get constipated, my question back to people if they were constipated is, okay, have you had two cups of leafy green vegetables in like a hot second? <laughs> um, have you been having fruits and vegetables, right? Like for me, it's having nutrient dense foods with protein. So on day one and two, that's been really important. Now I work with Joint Friday. It's the discount code queen. I'll link that down in the description link below. They include with their membership in addition to telehealth, they will prescribe it for applicable, applicable and medically approved, like they go through, they have a whole medical protocol. They are, in my humble opinion, the industry leader in chronic obesity management for telehealth. Um, they have included in their membership dietitian weekly calls. There's one tonight at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'll be there. And then they have another one on Wednesday at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm going to, I won't be there on that one. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be doing something for a client. So for work, so I won't be available. So there's two. And then there's also movement calls and a ton of stuff that's included for free with that mindset coaching of physical food, and it's with a registered dietitian. There's a difference between a nutritionist and dietitian. I had no idea, but dietitian, she has her master's degree in dietitian. And so if you're like, I don't know what to eat, I also have on countessofshopping.com two week-long free meal plans. And then recipes like protein pancakes, how to make protein pancakes, like stuff like that. Also on day, and I'll link down below, by the way, that Friday's link for you too. If you're like, oh my gosh, I would love to have a telehealth. You can do video chat with them. It's awesome. I'm to the point now where I do what's called async because I don't have a dose that I'm switching to. I don't have to meet on video chat unless I want to. So I choose to just async. But what I've been doing also for protein is I've been drinking more protein shakes and drinks. I just bought this one. I have never tried this. Someone had, a viewer had recommended it. It's called Clean Simple Eats. It's clear protein. It's dragon fruit. And I've had their other one, the tropical one to review. And so I was going to review this one too. Rose Wobbler, Rose was the person who wrote in. So cheers. I wanted to try it. It's 90 calories, 20 grams of protein. Mm. I'll give you my honest opinion. I'll, I'll be on. That's delicious. Y'all know I'm obsessed with yellow dragon fruit, which by the way, if you have constipation, <laughs> don't have more than one or two. If you have two, you will be on the toilet. So just FYI, if you have constipation, um, that's delicious. So I like having drinks like these that are like protein shakes or it's not sparkling, by the way, it's just like protein and the sugar in it. I know you guys are going to ask no sugar. That's really delicious. Mm. First ingredient, filtered water. Second ingredient, grass fed whey protein isolate. Uh, I will be chugging that after this. That's really good. <laughs> that's delicious <gasps> with a little bit of lime. All right. So that's what I eat. Um, do you 
weigh, actually there's a typo, weigh your food each time you, I do recently have gone into weighing and measuring my food because I wanted to know with my, I have been at a weight stall. When I first started, I did not weigh and measure my food. Queen, I was just trying to eat more in Kings for the gentlemen watching. I was just trying to eat more healthfully. I wish I had back then, but honestly, I was losing so much weight at the beginning. I didn't really need to. Why I needed to is now I, there's nowhere for me to titrate up. And so learning these new healthy tools have somewhat, in a good way, been backed into a corner of, I was eating too much. And that's where I think that there's, um, people don't talk about it enough. If you're not making permanent lifestyle changes with that mountain, you won't lose weight. And I've seen that people I've seen in my free group. I have an encouragement group with thousands of amazing gentlemen and ladies. It's fabulous. It's linked in the description link below as is all the links and people don't make lifestyle. Like you're still eating like a bucket of chicken from KFC. And I'm like, you rock on with your bad self, I'm not trying to be judgmental on that, but like, don't say you want to lose weight for chronic obesity management, but then not make healthful lifestyle changes. Right. Which is, for me, having to go on a deep dive of what makes the best sense for my lifestyle. And that's why I want to encourage you for this too. Feel free to take her my, like, who am I? Like, feel free to take or leave my advice. Um, it may not all jive with you, but maybe some pieces will of like, okay, I'm going to focus in on this this week. Because for me, there was so much to focus in on. I mean, one does not get this obese, morbidly obese, without having massive unhealthy lifestyle changes that I really had to work through. And so my loving encouragement for you is um, do what works for you. For me, it makes sense not to weigh and measure my food because I don't have portion size. I don't know what a healthful portion is. Even after a year and a half, I think people may be surprised to know that. I wish I, I wish I was like, oh, I know exactly. No, I don't. On a daily basis, I'm, I'm working really hard of having lean proteins like chicken and fish, or I like seafood, so like scallops, shrimp, um, lean turkey, a lot of turkey, we like turkey, uh, lean hamburger. I, before if, I used to have keto. And so I love me a uh, grass fed beef, uh, New York strip steak, but for GLP one medication, it gave me severe diarrhea. And when I have too high fats of foods, it can lead to more side effects. I have found Rose that my side effects with, and that's probably the biggest thing to focus in on if people scare you. And yes, there's scary side effects, but it's less than 1% of people on, um, GLP-1 medications. My source is when I was on Oprah, the doctors there said that. Um, but those are like pancreatitis, appendicitis, gallbladder problems, things like that. There's a black box cancer warning for thyroid cancer, but it's a genetic cancer, meaning someone in your family has had to have it before. And so just FYI on those things, like things like diarrhea, constipation, nausea, they are very real. Um, and I have all of my favorite brands linked on um, down below. There's a whole blog post on it too, of how you can help with those. Um, specifically, you didn't ask that in the question, so I'm not going to dive too much into that, but you were asking about, um, how many times do you eat and drink water, how I feel. I really, part of this learning lesson for me is to go with how my body's feeling. If like, I've really discerned what hunger feels like and what full feels like. And I think there's pockets of this that I've really worked on too. And I've had to work with a therapist, by the way, full stop. I've seen on TikTok some stuff about GLP-1 people recently and I'm shocked. I'm like, I need to get a therapist. <laughs> and for me, I have because there was a grieving process. There was an accounting process, making all these lifestyle changes. I needed to have a therapist come in and still help me with that. So just FYI, I'm not, I don't think people talk about that enough that there was an internal change that has happened that I had needed emotional one-on-one -on -one support with too, just FYI on that. That's me. You do you for each their own. Um, but eating the different foods with that, I've really had to work hard on like being hungry and being full and not chasing being full all the time. Our bodies are supposed to feel hungry. That's one of the other lessons I've learned is like not resisting feeling full. Um, yeah, not resisting that, that I'm going to feel hungry and that's okay. And feeling full is amazing and I love it so much, which is why I really focus in on protein, which I'm going to have a sip of this. Sip, we should have like a protein drinking game. <laughs> when she blames her outrageously long eyelashes, drink. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just joking. <laughs> that was a joke, friends. We got to keep it light and fun here at Countess of Shopping. So um, when is the best time to weigh yourself? Uh, I, I do in the mornings because I um, haven't had anything to eat or drink. And it's easier for me also. And I weigh myself daily. This was a big trigger for me before, which is why I go back to having a therapist. 
weighing myself daily used to massively trigger me to binge eat later on. And the scale would dictate my mood and my thoughts for the day. And then I gave it a lot of power. <laughs> Break and bond that. Um, so working with a therapist, I've worked really hard to now not, I care, but I don't care. A bit, there's not this emotional attachment of it, how I'm going to feel and things like that. But that took a therapist. It took a therapist. So now I can healthfully weigh myself each day. And it, for me, it's motivating. It's very much motivating. If it feels like it's becoming too much, if it's a trigger for me, then I talk to my therapist about it. <laughs> I do. I do. Um, let me go to your next question. You said it. And by the way, I have talked extensively about this, but I do think everyone, excuse me, as I like knock down all this stuff in here. If, ever, if, if you're here for chronic obesity management, which if you're on Zepbon or Wegovi, you are getting, I have three things, um, a scale, it's a smart, smart scale that syncs with my smart tape measure, which also syncs with my blood pressure measure. And it's all in one app. It's the most glorious thing. I love having one app. I hate app clutter. I'll link that on my Amazon shopping list down below. And by the way, there you can do one-stop shopping for all the side effects stuff, get it on Amazon off my link, all of these things. But having my blood pressure, very helpful. Um, I found I was having pockets of being really dizzy and it corresponded back to blood pressure. So just FYI, I think that has been very helpful. <laughs> very helpful. Um, okay, so if I'm eating out at a restaurant, what are your suggestions to choose the right food? Great question, Rose. I love Chipotle. We probably go there once a week because it can be inexpensive. It will be, for me, I'll get a big bowl, but then I'll make it two meals. And I usually get double steak, double pinto beans, um, extra fajita vegetables, extra romaine lettuce. And then recently I've been mixing half of the green medium salsa with half of sour cream. That's 50 calories, which is crazy to me. And I drizzle it on top. And then a light cheese and like a little bit of cheese. It's so good. And I forget how many calories that is, like 600-ish, 700-ish. But if I'm splitting it apart, or I'll make that one day, like just my meal. Like I will I make that just my meal. That has been amazing. I also love um, Jimmy John subs because I can do an Unwitch or Jersey Mike's. We go out to eat quite a bit. My husband loves to go out to eat. But Costco is another one where I can get premium meals like rotisserie chicken. I did another video recently on that. Got two rotisserie chickens, cut that up, and then made those into wraps and salads and like a ton of, you can make those rotisserie chickens 50 different ways. But I have a ton of videos on food choices. So watch those. I won't go through every single thing on there. And then my, my free meal plan talks about like, hello, there's 14 dinners on there um, between the two of them. Uh, Rose says, do you eat fruits and vegetables while on that bound? Yes. <laughs> yes. Like the antioxidants from fruits and the vegetables with fiber and for fruits and vegetables, fiber, we need fiber. Um, I was watching a thing recently with a reputable dietitian talking about 25 grams of fiber per day. Did you know an apple has only four grams of fiber? Um, and so if I'm trying to get 25 grams of fiber per day, that's a disconnect, right? And so working on that for me has been something I worked with. Last night I was... I had the munchies and I don't know why I had the munchies. It sounds weird me being like, I had the munchies. I don't know why I had the munchies, but you know what I did? I just got some carrots. And that sounds crazy. And for ladies that used to say that like two years ago, I would have rolled my eyes and been like, <laughs> you whack job. But really that's my life now. I was craving carrots probably some sort of mineral and nutrient deficiency. But um, speaking of minerals and nutrients, I take um, Gem Bites. Um, you can use the discount code PAIN for my daily supplements. Um, I'm gonna have one right after I film this. I'm very excited. And they have in there pre and probiotics, which helps if you're having gastrointestinal issues too as a side effect. So yes, I do eat fruits and vegetables and all of them, like watermelon, whatever's in season. Water, we've gone through recently this summer, watermelon, nectarines, um, <clears throat> plums, sugar plums, peaches, uh strawberries raspberries blueberries blackberries like whatever's in season that i love and i want to encourage you rose to find foods that you fall in love with that you get really excited about that are healthy healthy to me is fitting within my calorie range right because i do need to be in a calorie deficit for weight loss and then also my protein and that has fared really really well for me by simply me focusing on my protein it has dramatically changed the trajectory of my um it, 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 fullness and appetite suppression. So changing that protein, it changes the appetite suppression for me. And that's been a game changer for my weight loss and also muscle building. I never in a million years would have thought I'm doing Pilates. I literally had a private Pilates session yesterday. Like, who is this? I don't know. 
But it all started from walking, which led to a group member, which is why I say join my free group. A group member, Linda, had said, wall Pilates is amazing. You can do it free here on YouTube um, and you can build muscle that way and you don't have to pay for a subscription or a, a gym. And I loved it. Loved it. And then I was like, I'm gonna try a Pilates class. And I love that. And so anyways, now I'm going with an instructor because I'm trying to get to a level called 1.5 in Pilates. I digress. I don't want to go to those classes, but you can't go unless you pass certain things. Um, should I stop using Zephon when I reach my goal? Okay. So for me, there's two different schools on this. I believe I will be on GLP-1 medication the rest of my life. I had had a pocket and I did another video of it. It said, I stopped Zepbound or I quit Zepbound. I changed the title to I stopped Zepbound because I stopped it. I was, I didn't take Zepbound for 11 days and it was horrible for me. So much appetite suppression came back and I, I did not like it quite. I didn't like it at all. Hmm. Excuse me. I will not be stopping Zepbound in the future. Now, this is the information I have right now, right? information is changing so much that these videos that i do a lot has changed even in the last six months of my youtube videos and youtube content so always check the latest videos um here on countess of shopping click that like and subscribe button and then that way you can check the videos um but when i reach my goal weight i'll go on what's called maintenance and you can work with your healthcare provider my encouragement is don't get near that maintenance without having a good healthcare provider which is why i say join fridays they're amazing they do have different maintenance options you need to figure that out though in advance with them and each person is different so there's a couple of ways you can do maintenance but no i have no intention of ever getting off i know people who do many people are like i do and then they do lose weight and statistically speaking 30 percent of people who do get off that bound keep the weight off and more power to them for me i would not be one of those people i have chronic obesity management as a disease and as that disease, I went and tell somebody with high blood pressure to get off their medication. So why would I tell somebody with chronic obesity management to get off their medication, right? Like, if you look at it from those standpoints, or somebody who's having cancer treatment, why, stop taking, why are, you, why are you continuing with cancer treatment? Like, why are you continuing with cancer stuff? Like, you know what I mean? Like, so for me, that just, it makes sense to, to, to continue. But I also say that, comma, with no judgment. I know I have so many group members who who have stopped taking the meditation or medication. They're still in our group, and they're still, which I love, because they're still working on those tools, those healthy lifestyle tools, changing their food and physical activity. Right? We need both. Eli Lilly tells us we need to do both with taking the medication. We do need to do both. Um, these are great questions. Rosa, sorry for the questions. Don't be sorry. Um, I'm sorry I couldn't respond back individually. I just don't have time, unfortunately, as a wife and a mom and a serial entrepreneur and. I would love to have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with everybody, but hopefully this video will give you the answers that you're looking for and um, kind of lead you down the right path. But my biggest encouragement is I love Join Fridays. I love their products, uh, the products meaning their telehealth services and also the additional coaching that I get. That has been for me huge because at the end of the day, for me being successful in the last year and a half, I've had to change this in addition to my body changing. My mind has had to change and I need support with that. I can't do it by myself. I wish I could. <laughs> Type A personality, um, overachiever. Like I want to do it all on my own. But with this, I have not. I've needed the support and help of a team. Really, like Avengers Assemble. Get a team of people to help you on your Zephon weight loss management. And for me, that's made a big, big difference. So sweet friends, um, I would check out I would check out Join Fridays. They're awesome. And they're monthly. So you can use the discount code QUEEN to get the discount off um, for this month, August of 2024. Uh, for the rest of the month, it's $50 off for the Countess of Shopping community. Use that discount code QUEEN, bust my buttons. That's an amazing discount. Um, but normally it's $99 per month. Well worth every penny because if you pay just for those dietitian calls, I know I paid hundreds of dollars just for the dietitian calls. Just, just, just that, not even including talking with a healthcare provider um, as well. I would encourage you, and you didn't ask this, Rose, but make sure you track your own injections um, of what happens. And I have a whole other video on that, so go binge watch that video in my playlist of what do you do with your injections and with that. That's really important for you. If you haven't thought of that, or don't, go watch that video next. <laughs> Sweet friends, um, we do two things here at the Countess of Shopping community. One is your accountability question. What are you doing today to move you closer to your goals? Type and tell me down below. And number two, our emoji of the day is gonna be the question mark, the question mark. Um, and that tells me that you made it this far in the video. If you made it this far in the video, I care about you and I want to get to know you more and uh, I, I'm cheering you on. 
And that pattern recognition of me seeing your name over and over, people think emojis are goofy, but really I've, that's how I've met hundreds and hundreds, if not thousands of friends that way. So um, the pattern recognition, I'll get to know you better that way too. So the emoji is question mark. And the part two of that is I will pray over you. If you don't believe in prayer, I'll uplift you in positive thought. Sweet friends, we're going to continue the dialogue over in the Facebook group, particularly for people who are starting that found 2.5 milligrams. And I'll be doing a follow up video, too. So click that like and subscribe button more on once you do get on the medication with the one two punch for success. Be kind to yourself. Be kind to others. I'm Countess of Shop and count my blessings because life is delicious. I'm going to go drink the rest of this. I'll link down below this, too, with the discount code queen. Have a great day, friends. Bye, guys.